Is electricity supplied to the tracks of maglev trains as well? Yes, electricity is supplied to the tracks of maglev trains. Since maglev trains utilize magnetic forces to levitate and move, electric power needs to be supplied to the tracks to provide the necessary propulsion for the train. When electricity is supplied to the tracks, the magnets underneath the train generate magnetic forces that propel the train along the tracks. The amount of electricity supplied to the tracks of maglev trains varies depending on the train's speed and weight. Higher speeds require more electricity, and heavier trains also require more electricity. The electricity supplied to the tracks of maglev trains is typically high voltage. High voltage electricity is used because it can provide the substantial force needed for propulsion. This high voltage electricity is usually transformed into lower voltage through transformers installed along the tracks before being supplied to the train. How is electric shock prevention ensured in maglev trains when electricity flows through the tracks? Maglev trains remain safe from electric shock even when electricity flows through the tracks. This is because the magnets on the bottom of the train are designed to face the opposite pole of the magnets on the tracks. As a result, the train remains levitated above the tracks without making direct contact, even when there is electrical current flowing through the tracks. Furthermore, insulating materials are installed on the train's bottom. This ensures that neither the train's floor nor the passengers are affected by the electric current, even if there is contact with the tracks. Thanks to these safety measures, maglev trains are protected from electrical hazards and accidents. So, if there are two plates and the direction of the current is opposite, do the two plates repel each other? Yes, if there are two plates and the direction of the current is opposite, the two plates will repel each other. This phenomenon is known as foil repulsion. Foil repulsion occurs because a conductor carrying an electric current generates a magnetic field. When two conductors carry currents in opposite directions, they generate magnetic fields in the same direction, causing the two conductors to repel each other. Foil repulsion has various applications in different fields. For instance, maglev trains utilize foil repulsion to levitate and move in mid-air. Additionally, electromagnets demonstrate the properties of foil repulsion to exhibit the behavior of magnets. So, what happens if the direction of the current is the same in two plates? Yes, if the direction of the current is the same in two plates, the two plates will attract each other. This phenomenon is known as foil attraction. Foil attraction occurs because a conductor carrying an electric current generates a magnetic field. When two conductors carry currents in the same direction, they generate magnetic fields in the same direction, causing the two conductors to attract each other. Foil attraction has various applications in different fields. For example, electric motors utilize foil attraction to rotate. Additionally, electric generators use foil attraction to produce electricity. Both foil repulsion and foil attraction are phenomena that arise from the magnetic forces generated by electric currents and conductors. These phenomena are utilized in various fields to make our lives more convenient.